<laughs> Just uh, walking my chickens through town. Everybody, calm down here. I'm Man, going to. Lottie, cream lottie. Every, uh, everybody, calm your down. Fucking gun away, or you'll be just like your wife, putting Sissica for murder. Every, everybody, yeah. everybody, Listen, put I'll your guns down. I'll tell you a wee joke. Put your gun you away, Bass. Did you fucking turn you against me too, huh? It's no fucking good enough that you can't come see me Your no more. You gotta fucking hate me. me against you. My actions, you know what? You might call me someone that's fucking vile and hurts people. Do you know what the equivalent of that is in my world? A fucking stitchy fucking rat. You know how many people have told me that about you and I've always had your fucking back? And here you are. The first fucking yeah, but you're also the fucking person. Hurts my friends and then look at me like you've done nothing wrong. What is going on here? Nothing wrong. I've done a lot wrong, and I regret a hell of a lot. You want nothing to fucking do with me? I don't get how That's you can fine. look at me have like nothing has happened. I mean, I tell you this, they won't have the fucking bed. Okay, 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 okay. You're talking about not wanting to be a violent sin, but yet you just the fuck up. Let me Listen. fucking speak to her alone. I just okay. want to have a word with her. Go... This fucking little popcorn piece of shit. We yeah. And if you would listen to instigate. him instead of waving, you know, whatever around and trying to seem like the bigger guy, it's not from competition. I'm not sure who's on the just ground there, though. He just slammed his fucking face against the wall. I think he it is. Had it coming. And now you're going on some big fucking monologue about how you're not a bad guy, but you just be down a deputy and you're harassing a woman. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, Lottie, Lottie, you Wow. Put the gun away. Lottie, you, you need to calm down. Put the gun away and people. leave. Dude. I don't want to see you. I feel like, I don't know. People are very brazen about doing stuff like that in town, I think. Yeah, off his rocker. Ah. Hiya, Jody. Hey, I was uh, let's get out of town. Ah, uh, did you see what just happened in there? I didn't know. Baz is freaking out on the sheriff's office porch. I think he just beat one deputy down to ground and he pistol whipped the other. Oh, great. Aye, they were, they were having some sort of standoff and he finally just pistol whipped her. I see you catch which one? I I don't know. There was some uh fella wearing all red, blonde fella. That was one of the deputies that I beat down. I don't know who the, the woman was. Let's uh get out of town and then I just need a moment, alright? Then what? Let's get out of town and then I just need a quick moment to gather my thoughts. Sure. Are you wanted? I don't think so, but uh, that could always be changing the tip of a hat, you know? I just I'll take this one motherfucker running their mouth. I mean, I don't think I want to know. Alright. Just didn't know if you had any particular reason for wanting to get out of town. No, I just saw a bunch of law on the porch, and I figured, well, it's probably in the best place. Nope, to there, be. was, there was two law on the porch, and I think they're both, they're both incapacitated at the moment. No, if Hudson Hall was standing right there on his, on his two feet. Alright, didn't know who that is. He's a fella in all red. Ah, uh, there was a fella in all red. Oh, there's another one in all red, I suppose. Right. There was there was another one in all red. He was not standing on his own feet. All right. He was laying there, crumpled against the wall. I think I saw Baz throw his head against the wall right as I rode in. So, do you, have you been up 10 to 10 recently? Well, I, uh, I entered myself in a pageant. Don't tell and me. you're lost. <laughs> oh, you bastard. I didn't lose. I took third, all right? Aye, you took last place. That's, that's not last Oops. place. It's 12 places. I mean, it sounds like last place to me. I just I just didn't think you were going to admit it, but sort of in the well, paper and people have already told me. That's why you asked me. 
<laughs> and if you didn't ask it in the context that you did, I wasn't going to tell you. So, can't so, say the so, so how are you going to hide this from Bridger? Because you know that you're in the paper again, right? Um, well, don't say anything to him. Uh-huh. Just don't, please. All right, well, what are you going to give me to not say anything? What do you want? I just gave you a shotgun. What are you offering? That's fair enough. Well, That's it's, what a I nice, it's a nice, nice shotgun, but I'm gonna try and get more. So what are you offering? I don't know. What do you want? I'd like to hear what you got. You what? You just wanna bleed me dry all my? I just gave you a shotgun. You, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Come on, cause you know I'm gonna. I'm. I've been waiting to tell Bridger the moment I see him. Fine. You know what? Fucking tell him. I don't care. You sure? Yeah, I, I ain't giving you shit. You don't deserve it. I gave you a damn shotgun out of kindness of my heart. Now you're gonna go behind my back. It was in front of my face, really, not behind my back, and tell Bridget. It's not going behind your whole, back, whole man. Fest. You're just gonna lit me a flame. You know what? I didn't. I didn't regret it because if I won that thousand dollars, I was gonna put it all on black, and then I was gonna have two thousand dollars. And or 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 no thousand dollars. Or no thousand dollars. I think you would have had, had no thousand dollars. Nothing at all. Three hundred dollars. Did you just ask me for three hundred dollars? I? I'm not giving you three hundred dollars, you mad woman. All right, well, barred her with me. I'm starting high, so we can I'll start meeting the middle. I'll give you twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Wouldn't take less than a hundred. Oh well, well then, your bridge is gonna know then. <laughs> I mean, it's in the paper. I'm already fucked as it is, so whatever. Oh come on, you think that? Bridger reads the paper on a regular basis? He does, actually. Oh, all right. I've seen him read it many a time. $300, she says. She didn't need my well, I was, I was hoping bag. to meet you closer to 150 Jesus, you're trying to bleed me dry. I just gave you 175 with that gun on you, man. I I mean, how how much did you pay for that gun? What? And how much did you pay for that gun? I paid $175 for that gun. Oh, Let's did you that, actually man. paid for it? Yeah, I paid for that one. Oh, grand. Well, thank you. I just think I ran over a bird. All right, let's let's get on this road up here, and I just need a moment to uh, gather my thoughts and whatnot. Sure, I think there's a camp up on a hill over here somewhere, or something like that. I'll show you a goddamn camp. It's caught my foot. Uh, excuse you. What? That. What? What on earth? Ow! Damn it! Come on. You're gonna melt off for off at me for no reason whatsoever. For no reason, you're extorting me. You're to embarrass me. Sorry. You're the what? No you're the one who's entering pageants and losing. I don't need a goddamn bandage because we get into a fight. <laughs> you got a fucking bandage? What do you need a bandage for? Did you bruise my damn eye? I got oh, did you? Now. Are you gonna cry about getting no, a wee backhand? Oh, yes, I've God, got bandages. Go goodness. Here, I've got I've got a lot of bandages. So yeah, I know you do. You think it's called your bandage, Betty? Bandage buckles. Oh, uh, what do you mean by that? I got I have I have so many because I took them off of that. Uh, there, there was a fella who was you know you know uh, you know the uh, the house by the the wheat fields. Yeah. Well, he was in there blowing up lanterns and making all sorts of ruckus. And, and I went up there to talk to him, and he started going on and on about all the things he was seeing and how his head was hurting, and he wouldn't shut up about it. So I, I robbed him. And I, <laughs> I took his bandages and twenty dollars or something like that, left him to Schofield. So he's he's grand. Oh, he okay. Said he Did you get his name? Uh, pff, I have to think about that. What he look like? The no generic fella. Okay. What he sound like? Generic man. Okay. American man. Okay, getting somewhere. <laughs> was he wearing pink? Hair. Uh, no, I don't think so. He was pretty generic in most respects. I can't believe you sucker punched me. All right, just give me a moment. I didn't punch you. That was just a wee slap in my fingertips. Yeah, yeah. Quit whining about it, Jody. <laughs> you're not first, you're last. Yeah. Like we just start off with <laughs> just a wee tickle, jo Jody the Jody the Whitey Queen. <laughs> so funny. I think Bridger's got two of those backhands now. Yes, he has. One for lassoing me and uh, pulling me off. Yeah, pulling me off the bench. And I think the other one was for his whole "I killed Furio." joke 
to Mr. Rhodes Pageant. The pageant to find Mr. Rhodes kicked off on November the 27th with a slew of good and okay looking gentlemen to find the most handsome, talented and fashionable guy this side of Lemoyne. After fashionable introductions, face judging, a talent portion and a question section, the judges concluded that third place went to Jody Quinn, second went to Mato, and the first place winner was Cooper Garrett. Congratulations, Cooper, our Mr. Rhodes. <laughs> he placed under Mato. <laughs> Oh, poor Jody. What are you frowning about? You know, you might have actually placed above Matto if you'd, you know, taken our advice about that mustache ears. No, the mustache is what <laughs> got me good points in the face department. I took second in the face department. Thank you very much. Somehow, well, all I the take judges thought that Matto was just exceedingly good looking. All right, I, I, I don't understand it. I don't agree with it, but that's what they said. All right. Wait, so who got first in the face section then? Mato did. Yeah, I know. I don't agree with it either. But Mr. Herbie said he's very glad I didn't shave my mustache because he probably wouldn't have helped me get second. All right? Uh-huh. I think you're the only person in this state that thinks I should shave my mustache. No, I think everybody back at camp thinks he should be shaving well, his mustache what, what you, as well. What do y'all know about fashion and good looks anyways? All right? I mean, have you seen all of us? We look a whole lot better. Never mind. Uh, that is up for debate. Wildly. Uh, how long are you gonna stand here? Cause I'm thinking about going checking my telegrams over at Emerald. Oh, of course you is. Queen of the telegrams and queen of the buckles. Uh. Wow. Uh, All right. Wish to your mount. I'll be right back. Now you know what I'm coming. Queen of the telegrams. What? Howdy. Oh, it's the fella. Oh my goodness. Well, it's me, Stephen. We met in Strawberry. At the store. Hope this finds you well. XOXO. Steven the hostage. God, my. Oh, huh. <laughs> this, this random dude. I ran into him. This is a hold up. Give me all your money. Push your mouth. You know that their horses just run off together. What on earth are they doing? So, so uh. Do you know that bleeding Danny employs every single fella in the entire state? It feels like. All right, I suppose I'll just talk to myself. Yeah, I'm trying to write a telegram here. All so right, who are you trying? Who are you writing to? All right. You okay? Crap. So. Let him write for a second. I ran to Strawberry to look at my outfits off stream, and this fella came running into the general store behind me. And he says, Oh, hi. And he starts talking. And so I thought, okay, maybe I could rob this guy later because he talked about going mining. So I showed him another place to go mining. And then he's like, Oh, I work for Danny. And I was like, Oh, pff, okay, bye can't really rob people who work for Danny I guess and as I left he was like oh, okay bye I love you as I was already out the door and I was like huh and he's like nothing and then I just I just left and then later he chased me down and wanted to get my telegram so I gave him my telegram so I just got a telegram from him <laughs> but I, I really I, I want to rob him I, I, I extra want to rob him now. But if he's one of Danny's men, he won't have anything on him. Even to you, ma'am. Uh-huh. I'm sure. What a love story. <laughs> no, he was very awkward. That was you uh, groping about? Uh, Danny. Employee oh, in every yeah, bleeding Egypt in the entire state. Yep. And don't surprise me none. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> No, oh, no, I, I, you know, let's get to camp, I, um, so if he said it again, I was going to go on and beat him up, but he didn't repeat himself. 
Because the first time I might not have heard him clearly. But I'm not going to just go randomly murder people, you know? Whiskey! Whiskey, don't shoot at me, Dare Shane. He's quick with that shotgun, man. You right? Went up there, so we're getting wet in here with a little less. Maybe <laughs> quite a bit less, I think. Jody, how you been then? Sorry? Just so how you been then? Been good? I've been alright. It has good, I suppose. Jody should be about behind me or something like that. Why? Hopefully. You seen Bridger about? I know I haven't. I've been waiting at camp to see if he's showing up or something. All right. I don't think he has his horse. I could be wrong though. You don't think he has his horse? I think well, no. Didn't we go down to Saint Denis or something? Or was that the whole dream I had? I don't know. Okay. All right, Jody's coming up. I'm gonna fix the fire up. Whiskey time. I said it. You might run to me. Uh, my my tent's right here, and I'm grabbing a coat. Oh. It's always in a rush, buckles, huh? Aye, when I'm getting wet, sure. Freezing, okay. It's raining, Jody. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck me, Jesus! Holy shit! <laughs> That buck went for you. Oh, he was, going for he was gonna get you, Shane. Oh, no, I wanted you, I think. I think he you, you take it went after me. Uh huh. I think he wanted you. <gasps> Never been attacked by wildlife on camp before. That's the second folk of time I've almost been rammed in about a couple days. <laughs> Last time, I think, unless it was a dream or something. But me and Brazier were heading back to camp here. And we were killing a, a little animal. He threw a, threw a knife at it or something. And out of fucking nowhere, a big old piggy comes out and rams him on the ground. <laughs> like, what the fuck do I do? What, what's happening here? So I stabbed the fucking piggy about ten times. <laughs> you, you think that was a dream, you say? I don't know if it was or it was, but I woke up a couple of days later covered in blood. Uh, I don't know. Alright, well that's uh... all. Alright. It was something. They woke up to a tiny wish time. That was a quick spurt. I also find it very humorous that we're all burying off our money in the same box. I enjoy that. I thought about that earlier this week. That we're all what? Is that burying all our money in the same box? Mine's over by my tent. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, really? Like? Mine is nowhere here at all. It's over there to the right, over there in the barrel. Oh, okay. Where are That's you putting good. yours, Jody? I had to find uh, somewhere to put my I think my the box that Shane's sitting on, actually. No, I'm not putting things in there. Oh, yeah? Hi, oh yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So, so what's new with you two? Uh, not too much. I don't have any money left. Apart from the money in my barrel. Apparently, Shane here had a dream about going to Saint Denis with Bridger and stabbing a pig and waking up covered in blood. It was a grand dream. It's a very vivid dream. But you actually did wake up covered in blood, eh? I did, I woke up at a couple, I don't know if it was a couple of days later, I might be exaggerating on that, but it was a little bit later, and I woke up and I had blood or stain on my little, my jacket here, a little confusion. I might have killed a pig, I don't know. Well, I found an interesting pile of papers uh, at the telegraph office right before meeting up with you. It's titled at the top, League of Injustice. Of Injustice, yes. Right. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. I have the same paper. You have the same paper? You, you, yeah, I brought uh -huh. it to camp, actually. Something I want to start doing is yeah. we should bring interesting notes back to camp. Well, I've got then, it right here. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm going to put it right here on this tree. <laughs> what the fuck is it about? I like, like how there, it, there was a giant pile of them, and it says, Do not remove this note, or you'll experience the swift injustice of the masked menace. So naturally, you took it. There was a pile of them laying on the ground. Doesn't yours say the same thing? 
No, mine didn't say the same thing. I assume they wrote that because I took the original paper. <laughs> and now you're taking the second. That's my guess about all this. But, but I'm here, we have the here's same, the thing. Uh, train of thought here's, here, right? here's the thing, right? They've got they've got a, a telegraph number. We could, you know, try and get in like we're interested and then rob them blind. Yep, there it is. <laughs> same train of thought. Yep, I was thinking the exact same thing. So, put mine below what yours. What the fuck is her name? I don't know. It has to be something, Melty. They call themselves the League of Injustice, and on this fly it says, "No one tells us when to go to bed." Hey, you can come read I, over here if I you want. I just have a hard time believing that like it's that. you know. That's be the worst name I've ever heard of. Blake of Injustice. No. What the fuck is that? Oh. Alright. Take a look at yours, though. <laughs> Cut Mining Company? Yeah, that's a. Uh... Every May, they uh, they started putting down when they go into the mine like a bunch of fools. Now I don't know if we're interested in something like that. And Effie May, well, she's been a little kind to us, I suppose. But you know, money's money. Hmm, that's grand. Money runs around Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh, it, or they're pre. All right. Hmm. Interesting. It's a bit important to play is when they're going to mine it. Sounds like a trap fed. Well, they're they're gonna have security. That the whole thing is that they've got a. You're gonna be able to go mine them without getting robbed. This is what it says there. Well, well fuck that then. Fuck them little bastards. They're fucking up our little our little scheming business there. Why? Fuck like that. But then again, when was the last time we robbed somebody in a fucking cave? But here's another thing though, right? So if people go up to Strawberry and they go mining. And then they leave. They're probably not all going to stay together until they get somewhere else. They're probably going to come back to Strawberry and then split up. People leaving Strawberry, however, now they're going to be having a lot of money in their pockets for the most part because there's no bank in Strawberry. So it could still present some opportunities. I suppose it's quite a pain for going back and forth from the mountain set up a little sage and thing on the road might be good. Get a wagon or something. Knock over the road when they come past. I have the wagon pulled her saying the road, maybe. Aye, perhaps. Oh, my wagon wheels fell off, can you help me? <laughs> I just, I just saw my DMs. Apparently, I screwed up Johnny's stream starting ritual. I'm just ritual. trying to recollect everything that I uh, need to tell you <laughs> folks today. Bunch of stuff's happened since the last thing. What, what the hell did we do last time? Uh, I think we went to a cave or something. Kill the bear, I don't know. Uh... Then I ran head first into a tree or some shit like that. You really did not have the best time last time you were up, did you? I remember Bridge fell down off his horse as well, didn't he? Was that when we were going after Nash, you think? No, 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 that was that was in, in Falcon, the big valley place when we left the cave and I stole that horse. That golden horse. I hit a tree or something. And I came out from the bushes and uh, the bridge was lying there on the ground. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Was that the last time you were around? I can't remember. I don't think so. Last thing I remember that we all did together, sort of, was um We were what we were trying we were trying to rob that well we were looking for someone to rob over uh near the fishing spot. And we saw that fella Nash, that Egypt. He was down there and he was he was fishing, then wolves were attacking him. We were trying to decide whether or not we'd be going after him. And uh he went back sort of towards his horse, turned back towards where we are we were all sitting in the bushes, flipped us off and then jumped on his horse and rode off. Oh, I, I never was I was I was the only one near me horse, so I got on my horse and went running after him. I actually caught up with him, but uh he sort of jumped off his horse and danced backwards in the bushes. So uh, yeah, I just... lost him. I forget to steal some of his horse. Oh. Look, Sorry? the horse on now. What was that? I said, except the horse on now, you stole. I saw that one as well. Hi, we're quite aware. We know that you did. <laughs> Is that the point you're trying to make? No, 
just aware of it. No Ooh. point. Then y'all gambled away a bunch of money. Was that last stream with Bridger and Shane? I don't oh, I know. We had open roads. Oh yeah, he was. And I he think was we went back drunk, to Compton. He? he was. Wasn't he really drunk? I can't remember. So what's going on with this mismatch lady and Jody? What's happened with her? Right. <laughs> you did. You did have a lot to drink. That. That makes sense. I don't tank your dream as much as you tank your dream and Shane. Ooh. I wish I had a drink. I'm drinking roads, I guess. The nice thing I really remember is roads and waking up at the camp. I I mean, you might just want to hold on to those glowing drink whiskey touch memories then. Hey, sure. <laughs> like I don't so stupid though. I, I you like, know, nothing that can't be repaired, so let's just keep moving forward, perhaps, I eh? I didn't kill nobody either way. No, you didn't kill anybody. All right, well, let's go to that. Can't be repaired. You're right there, Jody. Yeah, I'm fine. That's fine. Mm hmm. Well, why wouldn't that be fine? Just, you know, I sort of expected you to be moping around about one thing or another. Just, uh, oh, yeah, is that what you expected? I got mm -hmm. all my moping out already, all right? You already got the moping done with? Yeah, I did, all right. It seemed to play out in my favor. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Uh, no, don't worry about it. You don't gotta worry about it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I take, I take he'd really like to hear about it. No, I don't think he would. I think he would. I don't think he would. Have you, have you read the morning? Have, have you read the paper? Have you, read the paper? have you have read the paper yet? Oh, Here, I have, I you happen to have a copy right here. Give you. Oh come on! You gotta, you gotta threaten me. All right, never mind. Don't, don't hold the paper. Don't it's too read late the paper. Now. It's too late now. You already told him. All you gotta do is go find a paper. Well, Look, well right. I mean, you the said it right. yourself. They're gonna be reading the paper, right. anyways. Well, Shane don't read the paper. Bridget well, does. All right. Well, you know, Bridger. You don't take that Bridger would have told him the moment that he read it in paper. Well, obviously, but we might as well just see if they decide right. to so read what's, it. What's going on here? Well, you could have paid me two hundred dollars three hundred dollars is what you <laughs> asked me <laughs> for you con artist you never tried to come on meet me in the middle I did. Jody. I said that's 25 dollars. no that's, that's $25 not that's not nothing. bartering from 300. what you want me to pay a hundred dollars to keep a secret that I... you found you know I, I hope i find out one of your secrets and and, you, and, and i can't even uh i don't even want to bother for it i'm just gonna tell the whole world scream it from the rooftops you, you think there's a lot that i get all flustered about there's gotta be something. Mm -hmm. You know, while you sleep tonight, I'm gonna take all your buckles and I'm gonna tie them to the tallest tree in the crossing. As if you oh, could even climb the tallest Joseph tree in the crossing. Sm in smaller than you, I could tr climb any tree higher than you could climb it. Just say it. Well, where did he get that deduction? Uh, because the bigger you are, the more branches break, so I could get higher than you could on any tree. Oh, is that why bears climb so good? Boom. Huh? Is that why bears climb so good? Because they're so big? Hmm? No, that's that's the opposite of what it... Never mind. Exactly. Wait a second. Moxie here. Found his hand in the valley at all location with Amit Brainthwaite. On his hair's porch. Oh, but the Moxie we know there. Read the one about the pageant. Pageant. I read it out, read it out loud, perhaps. What What pageant? I don't see no pageant there, here. There's something... It's, it's on the... The left hand side of the page. It might say Mr. Rhodes or something like that. Oh, the Mr. Rhodes pageant. Pageant to find the Mr. Rhodes kicked off on November the 27th. It is slow and good and okay. Okay, gentlemen. Find the most handsome and talented and fashionable guy in the side of the moon. After a fashionable introductions, face Georgian, an Italian portion, a question and section. George has concluded that the third place went to Jordy Quinn. That was just cruel, you know what? <laughs> just break out and laughing. I took third out of fucking 15 people. Who the heck went to a mantle? Who the fuck is Matt? <laughs> Who's that fella? How did a fella called Matt? Some fella who heals everybody and stitches Hold on a second, fella. How second. did a fella called Matt beat a fella called Jordy Quinn? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> listen, listen, I did flawless. It was flawless. It was flawless. 
rigged, I tell you. <laughs> tell me Cooper Garrett won out of a fair good Yeah, he shouldn't have won. I, I beat him. The only reason he won is because he owned the store on Rhodes and they wanted to keep it local. That's why he won. That's why I didn't win. Oh, that's what, that, that's what you think was. Congratulations, Cooper. Or Mr. Rhodes. It's fucking bullshit. How did you get beat by a fair good match, Jody? Jesus. I don't know. Apparently, the, the lady judge is not his face was nice, okay? That's what they said. I that, took second they taught, in the face. They department. taught that his face was nicer. Done. Nice of course. Aye, the only one that he said liked his face more was Herbie. Who's that? Not one of the ladies, that's that, for sure. That, that, that is a strange name for. Oh, it's not even a last, right? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Well, you know what? I got a free deck of cards out of it. I'm gonna make some money off it, so, huh? Sorry, say that again? I said I got a free deck of cards out of it anyway, so. Oh, which set of that? What, what set of cards you get? I got a Valentine's set. Look at this one. Uh, Before we trying to advance to the wink, there's only one spun ray of hope for Joyce's. Before we send you there for the rags, who the fuck is that? Is I don't know. He's allegedly arrested for the murder of Sherry Banks. Jesus. Looks like the Lord of Prophet is tearing themselves apart. Fucking hell. You know what's a wee bit worrying, though? Hey, what's that? That we still haven't heard into about anything about cash. I'm actually more disturbed by the fact that I haven't been questioned about it. Than I would be by being questioned about it. I'm glad we have a question about it. Well, I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad I but but I I would I would expect because I've been seeing around Bridger and and every time. Or maybe they're just keeping it close to her chest, not playing their cards. I perhaps, yet, but you, know. you never know. I. Eh? Spark recalls you. Diamonds are in demand, and your time is requested in the mines. Ooh, look at that. That's not the bad right there. The, te the fellow's telegram is MT. 027. <laughs> That's Jack Kettleman. What about that? It's a diamond fella. The diamonds are in demand. Your time is requested in the mines. Could be something we look towards, I suppose. Well, it could be somebody that we might want to rob or something like that. Jody over there in turn. I said in a couple of folks that I think we could rob. Third place. Oh, eh? Yeah, third place. I get it, okay. I might as well get a. I, I, it's, it's ironic because I got 12 points and 1 plus 2 equals 3. So that's my joke with Mr. Herbie now is that every time I see him, I'm going to hold up a 1 and a 2. Oh, yeah. Just laugh it up, Buggles. Laugh it the fuck up. I am not laughing at the moment. I just, you know, am I not allowed to have a wee grin every now and again? You know, it hurts my feelings. I should have won. I did flawlessly. I promise you. I did great. Oh, I can't wait to hear what Bridge has to say about that. <laughs> He's yeah, gonna go on I, about how Jody entered. He money. entered the melt the meltiest contest in the state, <laughs> and then he's upset that he didn't win the melt contest. Yeah, because I didn't win a thousand dollars. That's what I wanted. Shane, <laughs> even you would enter a pageant for a thousand dollars. Come on now. Can you imagine if he entered and he placed above you? I would I probably jump off a cliff. I think we'll be you from the top then, patient on the grave, little bastard. I don't know what that would I'm a good look at the fella. Just don't yeah, but there's other things that just plan. looks. There was multiple, multiple, uh, challenges. What the fuck? What do you mean, challenges? So the first round was fashion, which, I mean, you don't really have that much of. Then the second no, round. I had to dress down right now because of the. I shot, no, I was never Is that what it is? Okay. I have to dress down. Mm -hmm. I look like a dark worker right now, right? Too bad. Yeah. All right. And then the second one is uh was face, so they just really what, what analyze your face. For a second, you have the outfit right there. I have the exact same one. Oh, you don't, you don't have. You do not have the exact same outfit. I have the exact same outfit. I was wearing that one, and the Jordan was like, "You need to change your clothes. You need to change your clothes." You don't. You don't have the same exact outfit. Hey, we'll go down the same thing and I'll show you exactly the same. Ah. outfit. Buckles and Shane dressing the same. The same, but we'll who's the meltiest or who's the most lame? I think we're just both fashionable. I'm going to prefer the place you're the queen, meltiest. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I think it was a little hair flick or something. It's also sassy. I can't believe you got your name in the paper again, Jody. Oh, yeah, was that? Place. Place, hey, did that did that handsome Cole show up to compete for the title? No, he didn't. I was surprised he didn't, honestly. I expected it to end in a five five between me and him, but he wasn't there, <laughs> so I was ready for it. I expected him to barge in and say, I'm the handsomest and I was like, fella, you ain't even number eleven in this competition. 
<laughs> I'd really like to meet that fella. I think I would, but I don't think I would need that. He's quite a jackass. I, I want to meet him, and I want to be there when you both meet each other. That That's why I wouldn't meet him. Yeah, I might rob him, so we'll see. What if he wants duel? Duel over Please. good looks. Well, that's not how good looks work. I mean, I'm all he, fine risking my Jody, life for the right Jody, cause, Jody, Jody, you know, in all fairness, in all fairness, he's the one whose name is Handsome Cole. Well, yeah, it's because he You're ain't handsome. You're not going by, you know, um, Charming. Yeah, it's because he ain't good looking. Because listen, Jody when, you, when, you, when you need a preface to your title, like if I was good looking Jody Quinn, then it, it would dissatisfy the fact of who I is. What if somebody else bestowed a title on you? Yeah, that's, that'd be different, but I don't. I, I think but he how, how do you know? How, how do you know that? How do you know? I, I'm guessing. I heard he ain't that good looking, all right? We haven't met him. We can't possibly know that. Well, I heard he ain't, okay? And who'd you hear that from? A bunch of people. I've asked multiple people. You know, it's probably people who were insecure and jealous of his good looks. Well, they was late, so... There's so many fucking snakes around this camp, but we just got up trade them over there. Fucking trade them. Lock them. Actually, I think I've got his, uh... I think I've got his telegram number around somewhere. Hey, who's telegram number? Handsome Cools, because I've met him. Who the fuck's that? I ain't never met that fella. That's, uh, that's Jody's nemesis. It ain't my nemesis, no. I, I, I think I, I met I my nemesis. It's your nemesis. <laughs> what? I think Are I you gonna say that it's me or something like that? No, Third well, right place. now it's you, yes. <laughs> Third place is his nemesis. Oh, well, who else were you? Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Jody, the okayest looking Quinn. Ow. <laughs> What would have been funny if your brother would have shown up at that abandoned place to worry? <laughs> he wouldn't have. Aye, aye, I you're, you're quote unquote brother. A fella called Cooper Garrett who wears fucking metal boots. Well, why why, why are the names of porn to you so much, Shane? You don't know these fellas. I mean, I don't I don't think Motto should have been me. I, I think Cooper, I mean, he. I don't know. They've got strange names on the Motto. Yeah, I mean, Cooper, I mean, Cooper, Cooper had. had a, I, I, the only person I was concerned about beating me in that competition, honestly, was Cooper and a fellow named. Uh, Kuda O'Doyle, and uh, yeah, he was funny and comical, but his, his talent wasn't that good. He ain't that good looking. His fashion sense looked kind of ridiculous. He was wearing like all pink when the, the the show started, and then he changed halfway through. And I said, "Kuda, you messed up, you messed up royally." Because now all the judges are gonna forget who you is, right? And then I got I got all in his head. But I, I had the feeling that that Cooper was gonna win because you know he's he's the guy in Rhodes. He owns a shop and blotty blotty. I bet if I would have owned a shop in Rhodes or done something like that, I would have won that money. So you won a thousand dollars for that shape. Exactly. I would have done anything for a thousand dollars at that point. It's a thousand dollars. I don't know if I'd enter a pageant. I think it was making you. You'd enter a pageant for a thousand dollars. I'd let you do it. It's, I would. Oh, it really is a shame that. Uh, would have been amazing if we could have had all three of you, your boys, and uh, entering that uh, pageant. To be yeah, that's Three mine. times the chance Let's to have get the money. two uh, sheriff shooters in, in a pageant, so everyone can see what they look like and uh -huh, get a real good look uh -huh. at their face. Mm -hmm. I just wear masks. Just, I, that's what I'm just saying. It would be grand. Yeah. <laughs> be grand if we could have had them. Oh, okay. Masquerade ball or whatever the fuck they call the damn things. They wear a little fancy mask or something like that. No, wear one of them. What if we run our own pageant? We could um charge an entry fee for all that, and then the pot could go to the winner. But we'd have we just you know place you as first, no matter what, Jody. Then uh, you could at least be happy you got first. I don't, don't want to win in a rigged pageant. I just lost in a rigged pageant, Sive. I'm grieving. Okay, <laughs> a little understanding would be nice. Fucking hell! I miserable. was genuinely trying to make it better, there, Jody. I, Goodness, I, I, I don't and in a make money in it. Right, oh, oh. It's I ain't gonna make me feel good. Gene don't make me feel good. All right, well we could have we could have we could have Shane win the rigged pageant and then he would at least be you know first in the pageant. What the fuck am I winning the rigged pageant? What the what the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't Shane want the rigged pageant. Oh, I want a rigged. All right, pageant. sorry, I had an idea about making a rigged pageant and getting the money to Why somebody. Why don't you win a rigged pageant then? The oh, I because people are gonna believe that someone with a face like mine won a pageant. I Shane. Don't be bleeding daft, I. Doing an awful daft. Morning, Bridger. Rig pads, doors over there dripping about it, coming third place. What the fuck is going on here? 
Here we go. Everybody just, let's just get it over with. Just tell them. <laughs> I don't want to beat around the bush. Just do it. Okay. Right. Well, before we beat a bush, I've been waiting over at that fault for a while. We're not at the fault now. Uh, Is that where you've been? Hey. Sorry. That would make sense. I've been sleeping at the camp. I don't know. I won't I, be there. I came back here to camp. And we lived to it. I told you we're going to the fucking fault. Oh, what's, what's going on? Don't let's, let's, let's get up the spot. Uh, how did the newspaper and the rake? Here, you, you just read. Take... Oh, who made the news? <clears throat> who do you take made the news? Who always makes the news? <laughs> Jody. <laughs> uh, look there oh, under the uh, the Mister Rhodes pageant. Mister Rhodes. Oh, hey, on the left hand side. On the left hand side. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the rest the... <laughs> 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 oh, where is it? Your story uh, does your event of uh, hold on. Sheriff of Valentine. Oh, he's dead. Boo -hoo. Um The Mr. Rhodes pageant. The pageant to find Mr. Rhodes kicked off on November twenty seven TH with a slew of good and okay looking gentlemen to find the most hand some uh, tainted and fashionable guy this side of Le Moyne. after fashionable introductions face Judy a talent portion at the question section the judges concluded that third place <laughs> went to Jody Quinn <laughs> second went to Marto the first player was Cooper Cooper Garrett Congratulations, Cooper. Our Mr. Rhodes. Yeah, I mean... Uh... Like, so I... <laughs> what... 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 you were, what well, you were thing, hearing here is... did help beat me. He showed them his invention for his talent portion. He said, look at these things I made. Somebody shot them and the bullet ricocheted all over the saloon and everyone thought it was the coolest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, you know that fella's divorced, right? Like, melting about his ex-wife. Yeah, well, I figured they gave him first place because, you know, he's a resident of Rhodes and he owns a shop and yada, yada. All right. No, I'm fairly certain uh, that's because he's better looking. That ain't true. I actually beat him in the better looking departments. So. How the fuck did he beat you over on it? It was the yeah, town that he beat me in. I don't know about that. All what right, the, well, what was your talent then? Well, I was just right. nationally good looking. Is that simple? What a wound you lost. Right. Yeah. His talent is being talentless. All right, I sang a song, okay? I know y'all oh, don't know I sing, but I all sang. All right, well, okay? now we need to hear it. Right? No, I ain't singing for y'all. No way. Not today. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Well, let's get warmed up. up. Come on, everyone. Let's warm him up. Go no. on. What we no. got? Of course, what you got, Jordy. Go on. Come on. Maybe you'll place a second. Come on, Jordy. Right, I ain't singing want... for y'all. No, you're just gonna rag oh, on me even more. We've got the third to... place, Mr. Rhodes, right here, and you're not gonna fucking Listen, sing. Listen, all right. If, if you what, sing, if you now? sing, I'll sing for yes. something sometime as well. I don't. I don't need you to sing for something. I was offered you a gig so you could make some money and show them pops of yours. If you don't want to sing, you don't have to. Just like if I don't want to sing, I don't have all to. All right. Well, if you sing, then I'll sing for a gig for you. Why do I have to? And but second of all, Bridget, you you listen to this. Saab over here tried extorting me for three hundred dollars to not tell you. I said, "How much you want to not tell Bridget?" She said, three hundred dollars." I was and expecting I said, you, you to haggle on it. About what? About this Mr. Rose thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was really more than about it. I don't want to ruin a great moment, but you are definitely pushing the boundaries of luck, putting the name in the paper. Oh, I mean, it's fucking funny. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is genius. Exactly. Maybe when the law come by and they're like, Jody, you're wanted. Mate, I've been at the fucking pageant. I'm in the exactly. pageant. You're anything I wanted. That's what I was going to say. You think a fellow that is at pageants is yeah. wanted? No. Yeah, maybe you're right. Huh. All right. Hey, like a blade, two in inches. Very short. Put all of us in there. What's that, Shane? It's it's safe at the braid head to put us all in a pageant at one point, all three of us. Yeah, well, that's fucking stupid. I, all right. Well, obviously, if we weren't wanted, I was. I was actually suggest making a suggestion that we make our own pageant, and we charge an entry fee, and then we just have Jody win, and uh, then we get the money from all the entry fees without anyone knowing or bat an eye about it. Well, then it's a fix if he wins. Why? Yeah, I don't want to win a fixed pageant. 
Right, the point though okay, is the money great, that we get great. from doing something like that. It's <laughs> not. Alright, bud. He says I'll do anything for a thousand dollars a point to enter his own. I would do that. Ah, you didn't say that you'd do anything. Well, what if we get a thousand dollars as a prize for that? We can get a thousand dollars for a prize there. Hi, if you get 20 people to enter at $50 each, then you've got a thousand dollars. Wait a second. Who are the people that did this thing? Who are the judges in, in, in this whole entire thing? Who, who are they? It was uh, Miss Box, Mr. Herbie, Christine, and uh, Miss Nelson was the tie-breaking judge. She was the orchestrator of the whole thing.